All right, guys. I'd like to welcome you to my very first video. Very first cooking tutorial, might I say. I'm Promo Rob, and I like to say welcome. Now, on the menu today, I'm gonna be making kunk. If you're from Miami, you know what that is. If you're from Miami, when I say kunk, that shit should have a certain ring to your ear. Man, my opinion, kunk is the best seafood God ever made, but that's my opinion. So, people ask, well, what's a kunk? Kunk is a seafood, it's a muscle. You ever see the big seashells on the beach or in the ocean? Inside of those seashells dwell this muscle, which is called kunk. Very popular in the Caribbean, mainly in the Bahamas. Um, so this recipe is by way of the Bahamas uh, and Miami. It's a family tradition um, and it's very tasteful. So let's get it started. Lemon juice, vinegar, salt and pepper. I also use uh, lemon pepper seasoning as well. I use a little bit of Lowry seasoning and I also use pepper flakes, uh, but that's my preference. Now, we're gonna make a kunk salad. So, what well, the kunk salad consists of is the kunk, it's chopped up onions, small dice, tomatoes, small dice. Um, as far as the tomatoes concerned, we just use the skin. We don't use the, the meat inside the tomatoes. We disregard that. We just use the tomato skin, the thick part of the tomato. We chopped it up small dice and we add it to the mixture. Now, some people like theirs with mango. That gives it a little sweetness to it. I don't have any mango right now, so I'm not gonna do that. If I did, I would add some in there. But uh, we're just gonna go with the basic recipe. Now, here we go. First thing first, uh, this conk has been tenderized. So you can either get it tenderized or you can cut it straight out of the shell. Some people like it tenderized. I, I mean, I have no preference on how I, I, I get it. Um, you just wanna cut it up, you know, small. salad nice chunks yeah that's gonna, be, that's gonna that's gonna last me about a day <laughs> so i'm gonna go through this all right so now that we got the kunk the ingredients consist of uh kunk obviously chopped up tenderized we have green bell peppers we have orange bell peppers i have cilantro i have white onion and i have tomatoes Okay, that is accompanied by um, freshly squeezed lemon or lime is your preference. I prefer lemon. Salt and pepper. Lemon pepper seasoning. A dash of Obey seasoning and a dash of Lowry seasoning. Also, small diced cucumber. Now, you can leave it at that. If you do that, then that's the original recipe. That's the Bahamian style recipe. But being from Miami, I can't just leave it at that because we do our things a little different in Miami, in the 305, you feel me? So, the difference between a Miami kunk salad and a Bahamian traditional kunk salad is that we add a tomato sauce 
or hot sauce. That's what I do. I like mine spicy. You know, then I accompany that with some crushed red peppers. And uh, that's the difference between a, a Bahamian style conch salad and a Miami style conch salad. Uh, you can also go a little further and um, add a little sweetness to it by way of a mango or pineapples. I mean, it's really your preference on what you do. I don't have any mangoes or pineapples right now, so I'm not going to add that to this particular dish. But usually I do. But um, so with all that being said, let's go. As you can see, we've already chopped up the conk. The conk usually come at whole. You can have it tenderized, and then you want to chop it up in small pieces the best you can. You know, I like mine not too small because I want a nice bite of conk in every spoonful. So that's my preference. And if you say, hey, he touching his food and doing everything and I don't have any gloves, this is for me. I'm going to eat this by myself. I'm not going to share it with anyone. I wash my hands already so I know my hands are clean. But if you plan on making this in the future and you want to sell it, you know, wash your hands, wear gloves, all that good stuff. So let's get started. All right, the conch is there. I'm gonna go ahead and add the bell peppers. Green bell peppers. You know. Don't wanna to put too much when you have enough though. I wanna have, you know, I, want, I like to have all the ingredients in every bite. So, because when everything is together, man, what? Oh it's so beautiful. Tastes so great. All right, so that should be enough for the peppers. I'm gonna move these off to the side. Move that off to the side. You know, I just gotta go in, I mix it in. Every step, I mix it in. You know, uniform. Nice and uniform. You know, yeah, good. Nice consistency with your with your other ingredients, man. That's what really sets it off. Because the kunk by itself is not really, don't really have a taste to it. You know, don't have a, a distinguished taste to it, but when you add your other ingredients, you know, that kind of sets it off. You know, and, and, and shit, boy. I love me some kunk. All right, so that's that. The bell peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some cilantro and add it in there, you know. I like to remove the, the leaves from my stems. I don't like the stems being a part of the meal. I mean, some people don't care, but you know, I'm kind of picky. I notice when you have the stems in there, and the same thing with, with, with spinach, I do the same thing. I pick the leaves off the spinach before I chop it up or, or before I cook it or do, do anything to it. Reason being, the stem is where the majority of the chlorophyll resides. So, when you're cooking it, I mean, if you're not aware of it, you may not, you may not notice it, but, you know, some people do. But you kind of get a green chlorophyll taste. See, now I don't want anything to interfere with my cilantro. Cause I love me some cilantro. Ooh, wee! Boy. A little cilantro. And onions. Man. I tell y'all what, speaking of cilantro and onions, the next next video I do, I'm going to do some Mexican street style carne asada tacos. And the Mexican style only consists of cilantro, onions, and steak. Um, you know, they have American style. American style is with the um, uh, cilantro, onions, and I think they put tomatoes. I don't particularly 
like the American style or, you know, have it quite often, but this is what it consists of. So now that I got my cilantro picked, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and chop it up. About this cilantro, man. Once you start cutting it, ooh, boy, mm. the aromatics is crazy. Fresh cilantro. Look pretty good, right? Chopped up pretty good. So what you wanna do? You wanna just go and add it. Add it to everything else. Yeah, mix it in. Nice and uniformly. I'm a big fan of onions, so I tend to add more onions than anything else. But you can do it, you know, to your preference. If you don't like onions, I mean, you don't even have to add them if you don't want to, you know, but it's really up to you. That. Add it in. Mix it in good. meat of the tomato so you want to discard that get that out of there you know. just use the skin of the tomato outer layer of the tomato. Man, 
When I say I love Kunk salad, I don't think y'all really understand. Like, I love me some Kunk salad. And believe it or not, it's one of the healthiest seafoods that you can eat also. vegetables at it want to spread it out you know like so now it's time to add the spices so start with your salt pepper I like fresh cracked pepper you know but you don't have to use it use regular pepper Lemon pepper seasoning. Use a little bit of obey. It's seafood, so throw some obey in there. Followed by Old Faithful. Lyris. I don't know about that lyre seasoning. You mix it all in. Get it in there nice and mixed in. lemon juice I mean you can use that store bought crap it's already squeezed into the processed and all of that but I like fresh lemon juice over here so I don't get any seeds in there. I'm gonna strain it real good. Get it nice and saturated. lemon juice, cilantro, onions. Man. Woo! Mix it in. Mix it in. You know what? Let's throw some lime juice in there too. Just because it's sitting here and it's asking me for it. There you go. Let's do a little lime in there too. Lemon lime. Yeah. Right. 
Mix it up. What you want to do? Transfer it. Cause the next step, you gotta add the vinegar. And that you want it to be sitting in the bowl. You do that. Not too much. Mix it up. Well, I wish y'all could smell this. God, man. I'm close my eyes and picture myself on a beach somewhere. Man. Just here, you know how they say you pick up a conch shell and you listen, put it to the ear, you can hear the ocean. Man, I can smell the ocean. I can, I, I just feel like I'm getting ready to take sail. All right, so what we have here is, you know what? Let me do a little, do a little dip. Wash my hands real quick. present that to you guys so what we have here is a bowl of traditional Bahamian style conch salad let's taste it mm, mm, mm. it is delicious it is delicious now like I said, we doing this Miami style, baby. So the next step would be add some pepper flakes. And then add the hot sauce, baby. Yes. Oh yeah. Fork or spoon, mix that up in there real good. See, now the Miami style sauce because now the juice is red. 
The other juice was clear. Good. good. Nice. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. So there you have it, guys. Kong salad, Miami style. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy, Chef Rob. And I'm out. <laughs> I'm about to go kill this shit. I'm gonna holler at y'all. Peace.